Thanks for with us, everybody. Gulf Coast Carnival Association gearing up for its ball Monday night, big parade on Tuesday. Joining us, we have Captain Keith Wade, Lieutenant David Harris to tell us about plans this year. Who's the king and queen? Can't tell you <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> you got me in trouble guys, last year. We got him in trouble last year because we found out. That. Sorry, I had to do that. That's all right. Kid. That's all right. So, okay, so tell us about your ball. What's the theme? The theme is... Um, Leaving you spellbound. Leaving you spellbound. Because spell uh, this is my last year and we're leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> well, leaving you spellbound, that, that gives, in my mind, all sorts of possibilities because they're the characters and the, the royal court, they kind of portray different characters. What can we expect? Well, you can expect a lot of uh, kind of mythical places and other, we don't want to give it all away, but we, a little bit of magic, a little bit of magic, a little bit of spells well the tableau is always so beautiful down at the uh, Coliseum and uh -huh. Reno over there I mean it's just a show is yeah what it is. we're ready I think everybody does a great job and uh, we're excited and, and ready to roll okay ready to roll. Yeah, yeah. what an obvious segue roll right into the parade then on Fat Tuesday through the uh, streets of Biloxi yep. do you have a lot of units a lot of 107 floats? we're full um, unfortunately we, we could have more but Basically, we're a circle, and in the, in the front meets the back. I know. So, I get caught in that circle yeah. <laughs> trying to drive back to so the we station would, every year. We would love to have more floats, but we are maxed out at 107. Um, we throw approximately a million beads, uh, and, and everybody's ready to go. We're all excited. We're looking for good weather. Um, Eric, are we going to have good weather Tuesday? Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> that we appreciate that. Very convincing. <laughs> I think it's going to be kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any rain, but it's going to be kind of cool. But there's nothing wrong with that as long no, as we have good. sunshine. You right? give us sun and, uh, and some good weather, and, and we're going to roll. We're going to have a good time, and we hope to see everybody out there on the parade route. Yeah, Keith, a lot of people don't realize this. I mean, the second the floats go park in the den to wrap things up, you guys are already working on next year. So all the things that have been going on leading up to this, people who aren't involved, involved in the organization, they have no idea. No idea. Yeah, we start, uh, planning starts on Ash Wednesday, which is yeah. the day after Mardi Gras. So it's, it's a year long, uh, a year long commitment and, and everyone in the organization works hard to make it the best it can be every year. Yeah, and keep anybody can join the Gulf Coast Conference. Anybody Association. can what join. It's too late to join now. Yeah, but well, next obviously. year you can join um, with with our membership. You get to come to a summer social. Um, you get to go to. Uh, there's a party on uh, this this year. There's a party on Friday night, Saturday night, uh, the bead parade, the the um, the ball. And am I missing anything? And then you get some. You get a standing ticket, uh, viewing tickets at the. Uh, City Hall. And, and there's something else a lot of people don't know. You can't go to the ball as a general member of the uh, public on Monday night, but you can go view you the tableau. You can go view the tableau. You can yeah. view the tableau. Which, again, is just pomp and circumstance. It's very dramatic. They always have great music, and it's a, like a light show. Or it's like a concert almost. Yes. Yeah, we, do, we, we put a lot into the stage performance part of the tableau. Yeah. Not only for our members, but for the, for the public as well. Okay. So that's in the arena at the Coast Coliseum coming up Monday night, and then the parade gets underway. Uh, the Coronation Ball, as you see right there, and then Tuesday beginning at 1 o'clock. And you can watch that, by the way. Karen and I will be doing the play-by-play, -play, the narrating for that uh, parade on WLOX ABC coming up next Tuesday. Well, fellas, uh, have a great uh, carnival season, and thanks so much for being with us. Who's the, who are the king and the queen this year? I'm going to tell you in your ear. Okay. <laughs> I w but I won't tell the viewers. Yeah, right. Uh, you can trust me. I can keep a secret. We can't. We're bad. <laughs>